Hey there guys, how's it going? This is Vishnak back again with a new video. Now in today's video, we are going to learn how to download extensions to our Unity engine. Alright, without any further ado, let's get it started. Now let's go ahead and double click on Unity Hub. It's gonna open up uh, this box over here. Click on installs. I hope that you have installed the latest version. For me right now, it's 2019.4.12. Uh, it could be any other version by the time you're watching my video. Now click on this triple dots over here and click on add modules. Once you are done clicking on those options, you can see quite a lot of build support options. We get it inside this box. I first want you to go ahead and click on Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019. Even if you have already downloaded it previously i still want you to go ahead and click on this because what it's going to do is it's going to build better support our unity engine with our scripting software that is visual studio in this case and after that i want you to go ahead and click on android build support and thirdly if you are working on an apple laptop or apple computer you can also go ahead and click on iOS build support since I'm working on Windows. I'm not going to go ahead and do that because even if I download, it's not going to support the build inside Unity Engine. All right. Lastly, I want you to go ahead and click on WebGL build support. And after you're done clicking on all those options, uh, go ahead and click on done over here. I'm not going to do that. I've already downloaded all these options. All right, so I'm just going to exit out. And that is how you download all the extensions uh, inside your Unity engine. It will unpack as soon as you download inside your Unity engine. And you are good to go. You can go ahead and uh, start working with the application. Anyways, and after that, I finally want to show you uh, the output that will be working on in our future coming two to three videos. I'm really excited with the output because it looks beautiful. Uh, this is how our output looks. And this is what we are working towards. Now, if you can see, there are three objects in our uh, output over here. We have our sun, we have our moon, and we have our earth as well. Now, it's kind of shaky. I think my webcam is a little shaky. Therefore, it's giving this shiver in our output. Please don't mind that. Anyways, let's talk about our output. Now, in our output, you can see there are three objects. It kind of looks like a mini solar system. Only in our case, uh, the rest of the planets are missing. But if you want, you can also go ahead and create the rest of the planet and call it a complete solar system. Right, you can definitely do that. It involves the same kind of principle, whatever we are using over here. All right, uh, so let's talk about this example. Now in this example, you can see the sun is rotating on its own axis. And uh, whereas our earth and our moon is revolving around sun. So theoretically, uh, you can say that our moon and our earth are the child to the sun. And therefore the sun is a parent object to our moon and our earth. But you can also see that the moon is uh, revolving at the same time around our earth. So uh, that makes moon the child object of our earth and our earth is the parent object to our moon. So theoretically that is how our application is built. There's a little amount of scripting also involved. So We'll be talking about in depth whenever we'll be tackling this scenario. Yeah, so that is about it for today's video. So this is the output that we'll be working towards. Hope you stay along because there's a lot to cover and this is just the first example. And maybe you can also give us some suggestion. You can definitely write down some suggestion, some ideas that we can work together in our future videos down in the comment box. Hope you like this video. This is Vish Naik. I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Have a great day.